You know who's the exact opposite of himself? Scott. <laughs> and Rand. Yes. Hi, Scott. Hey. Um, so, question for you. Okay. Uh, I know you and your wife, but I know your whole family. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I think you, like me, are in a situation where you have a wife, uh, a wonderful wife, who is very different from yourself. Yes. And I, I imagine your, your marriage has not exactly been perfect, but I think that you have a very good relationship with, with your wife. Um, do you think that it's worked having somebody so different from you, or do you think... Do you think that's the kind of thing that works for, for most people and for you? It works on many levels. Um, if, if I were married to someone like myself, I would have been broke in about 20 minutes. Uh, she's very good with, with money and that sort of thing. She's also very good at organizing certain things. I tend to be the one to make things happen. She would wait and see if something would happen. Okay. So I'm, I'm sort of a catalyst that way mm -hmm. or sometimes a cattle prod. So it, it all depends <laughs> on, on the, the way things are going to go with uh, what we need to do. We have, I mean, every family has things they need to do, and we manage to get them done because one or the other of us knows when to push and when to lay back. Yeah. So yeah, and, you, and the, I believe it is the same also for you and your wife. It is, I, I tend to dominate conversations. Um, Can't believe that. I know, right? <laughs> and Carmen tends to not really want to talk at all. So when I find myself accidentally dominating conversations like we'll be out with somebody or something like that i'll dominate the conversation she'll have been quiet the whole time and i'll start to feel bad and i'll, I'll say later like sorry i dominated the conversation she's like it's okay i didn't want to say anything at all so it works she's she's kind of timid doesn't really like attention i don't mind attention <clears throat> um it's worked for us I, I think there have been times where um i mean a lot of our tastes are the same like we have the same tastes in music and things like that but there have been times where like she loves um, like crocheting and being crafty and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. so we'll go to like Joanne Fabrics or, or Hobby Lobby or someplace, Whoa. not sponsors, but um, <clears throat> we'll go to these places and I'll be bored out of my mind. And I mean, I love spending time with her. <laughs> I could spend every day, every moment yeah. of every day with her, but I'm just like, oh, more yarn, more fabric. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You know what, you know, I, I probably do the same sort of thing you do, and that is I get into a situation where things are starting to get a little bit too quiet or a little too dull. I actually start interviewing people, and my family is, knows that I'm famous for this. They, whatever, if someone brings over a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend or something, it was always dad who started asking a lot of questions. So, what have you do? Where'd you go to school? What are you doing? And everyone's like, <coughs> okay, he'll carry the conversation for a while. And I do. I'll mm -hmm. take the conversation. I'll run with that ball. In fact, I'll run off into the field with that ball, and no one even knows where, where I've gone with it. So interviewing is part of what I do and what I've done. No. Part of that probably relates back to my, my background. I, we've talked about my radio background in the mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. I did every, I was a disc jockey, but I was also a news person, and I also worked as a, a news director at times. Sometimes you have to ask people questions to get things going. Yeah. And I do that. I do that at stores. That also tends to bother my wife a little bit. She just wants to get in, fuss over things, look at the price for 25 minutes. <laughs> and then she just wants to sort of quietly walk out of there, pay, and not have to talk to anyone. Whereas I'm saying, hey, so uh, this thing's at four four twenty five. Have you ever seen it at a lower price than this? And she's, she's mortified. You know, why am, I, why am I asking all these questions? But that's what I do. That's what I do. We forgot to pick an ending, by the way. Ooh, we have to um, pick an ending yes. for the show? Go ahead we've, and have we come to the end already? No, we haven't quite come to the ending yet, but... All right, well, according to this, it's going to be alternate words, and we have to continue our conversation by alternating words with... Each other. Okay. We won't get there. We won't do it quite yet. Okay. Because we're I, not done with this conversation yet, but uh, right, I just I, realized that we Did you want to interview to... me for a while? <laughs> sure, well, sure. That'd be fine. <laughs> That's the whole point of the show. Um, but no, what I like to do at supermarkets sometimes, and... It took Carmen a little while to get used to this, was I would try to make the cashier laugh <clears throat> by saying something completely off the wall. Like maybe we'll be getting like, you know, tortilla chips and salsa and, you know, guacamole and all these different things. And I'll say, it's Italian night, just to see what they do. Sure. Because it's off the wall. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. we're making dog food. <laughs> we, we are of one mind here on this. So, yeah. <laughs> and at first she found it really embarrassing, like in a relationship. But then after a while, she realized what I was doing and started having more fun with it. Sure. So. And as long as you carry the ball, everything's okay. Exactly. All right. That'll yeah. work. <clears throat> anyway. 
So I think that it's about time to finish this episode. Okay. If we go again to wherever we go, then we... <laughs> See, I'm carrying the conversation <laughs> ball again. He's really bad at this. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, thank you for liking and subscribing. Have, you, have a good day, guys. And uh, check out our website, rampantcomedy.com. Thank you.